Hi, I'm John Collins, the Paper Airplane Guy. Kind of like my pal Mario. I love folding and shaping paper into incredible flying machines. Mario can actually become one in the Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door Game. Mario embarks on a daring adventure in a colorful world made of paper. In order to unlock the mysteries beneath the city of Rogueport, he must harness the vast creative potential of paper. Of course, that means having the ability to fold himself into a mighty paper airplane, to fly over chasms and overcome obstacles. To celebrate the arrival of the Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door Game on the Nintendo Switch family of systems, I'm going to show you how to make your own paper airplane inspired by the game. Now download your own paper airplane template right here and I'll show you how to make it fly. So this is your paper airplane template. We're going to start by flipping it over so the clean side is up and we're going to do diagonal folds. That's just taking the top of the page and lining it up with the side of the page. There's one side done. Always make nice sharp creases. That's going to help your plane fly better. Open that up. We'll make a diagonal fold the other direction. Same idea, just lining the top up with the side. Sharp creases. Unfold. Now this next fold's a little bit weird. We're going to take the side of the page and line it up with this diagonal fold. The crease will go right through here. It looks like this when you're doing it. Kind of start down here where the crease meets the edge of the page. Roll that over and put it just right next to, but not covered, just right next to that diagonal fold. You want to still be able to see that. That's going to be important in a couple of steps here. So look for this crease that's running across here, right where that crease meets the edge of the paper. We're going to take this corner and put it right there. It's a little bit of a shortcut. Anytime you can pull off a shortcut in paper folding, <laughs> go for it. They don't happen often enough. <laughs> so here we go with this one. Sharp creases all around. We're going to make a crease that goes right through the center of the X next. And you can, you can see where that is. Oh, there we go, those great graphics. The center of the X is right there. So if you've covered up your diagonals, don't fear. It's right there, kind of where the layers overlap. Let's pull this top over, and you can see these creases coming over from the uh, back side. We're going to line those up with the very bottom layer creases on this side. Just let those creases come to a point right there, and then make that. Now we should be able to just follow this crease and follow this crease to make the top edge come to a point. So let's do that. It should be real simple here if you hit the center of the X. If not, it's a little more work, but don't sweat it. Your next one will be better. So let's make the other side come over. There we go, nice sharp point. Now we're gonna pull this locking fold up and over these two corners, just like this. And so that's gonna lock the paper together when we fold the, uh, the plane in half. It's really kind of a cool little mechanism. Most paper airplanes, a lot of uh, layers are flopping open. This one will be really super tight. All right, let's flip it over. Look at those graphics, I love that. We're gonna spin it so the nose is pointed left. Now we're just gonna fold it in half. And the key with folding any paper airplane in half, get this single layer corner right on top of that one. Let's just bring that up just like that. Two creases left. We got wings coming up, taking this thick edge right down to the base, just like that. Ooh, now you can see the, the beauty of these graphics. Look at that wing. You should be seeing a little uh, triangle back here. If you're not, you probably grabbed the wrong edge. Just undo that and grab the other edge. Should start at the nose and go right down to the center line. Let's flip it over and make the other wing. And two quick adjustments to get this guy flying good. The first one is to pop the wings up like this so that the wings are kind of V-shaped. You want those wings to be V-shaped. Then the other critical thing, just add a little upward bend back here. That's gonna help pull the nose up. Uh, like all good gliders, it's nose heavy. So this little bend back here, when it gets going fast enough downhill, enough air is bouncing off of those to push the tail down. That lifts the nose up and now you're really flying, Mario style. Our paper airplane looks ready to take flight. Let's go. Now you're ready to fly your paper airplane. And remember, the Paper Mario, the thousand year door game, is available at retailers and on Nintendo eShop. Happy flying.